Hello YouTube, my name is Parker and today we're going to be checking out the gameplay preview for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, this is 13 and a half minutes long, so this is going to be a significant chunk of gameplay. Uh, there was some other gameplay, there was like 6 minutes in a Japanese trailer that was shown the other day. And I did watch that, I actually recorded myself watching it. But there wasn't, I didn't really have anything to say because there really wasn't much that was new. And a lot of it was in Japanese, so I couldn't really understand what was being said. I don't know if this is going to have the same stuff as that. It's not going to be just the same stuff. There's going to have to be some new stuff in this, because it's 13 minutes long. And I'm kind of really excited for this, because this is kind of going to address what I think is my biggest worry about Legends Arceus, hopefully anyway. Which is that, just that we don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's my biggest concern, my biggest worry is just what is the game about? What do you do? What's in the world? You know? Because I don't want it to just be another wild area where there's barely anything in it. I'm not expecting Breath of the Wild or even Monster Hunter levels. Just because it is Game Freak. But I'm hoping there's at least going to be enough to be interesting. That's my, my big hope. So, uh, let's find out more about the game. Let's see. Welcome trainers, thanks for joining us today for a preview of the upcoming game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, releasing January 28th. Hold on, let me just make sure we're on high quality here. A little bit of Switch system. Today, artifacting, but whatever. We wanted to give you a first look at some new gameplay. Game footage not final, at this point it better be. <laughs> the expansive Hisui region. And We've got like, what, two ago, weeks? It's rare for people in Pokemon to live in close harmony, in time, Isui will come to be called the Sinnoh region. Mount Coronet rises okay, from the so here we go. We actually get to see some full in-game stuff with the UI. Uh, graphically, I mean, it's not. It isn't great. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Having been playing Monster Hunter Rise re recently, it's not. <laughs> that's not great. <laughs> but it it looks acceptable. It's a passable. It's passable, I guess. Uh, we get to see the UI a bit more. Looks like we can swap out our riding Pokemon here. Of the Hisui region. And I see a Surrounded on all something sides, over there. Areas with distinct environments. Yeah, okay, so this is one of the things that we saw in the last trailer. There's like some ore deposits Area that you can mine. In natural features and plays hosts to different Pokemon ecosystems. One such area is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which you can see the trainer exploring here. The area is filled with Pokemon that call meadows and forests their It looks really kind of barren though, that's kind of the thing, and there's, I mean, there's gonna, I don't know why they're not showing oh, it populated right now. I mean, oh, it is populated. And you should I see, sure there they are over there. Of different raw materials as you explore. These materials can be used to craft many you know what, I mean, help you on your journey, including healing items, lures... Oh, there's a train, there's like a, not a trainer, but a, a person over there. A called a Pokeball. And more. Your Pokemon team can help you collect these materials too. You can find all kinds okay. of useful resources across the region just by breaking That's interesting. Rocks, picking up plants growing in the wild grass, defeating or catching Pokemon, or knocking items out of trees. So there are going to be a lot of like different items you'll collect, like in Monster Hunter. Here we see the trainer using some of the materials they have collected to craft items in preparation for their next mission. All kinds of Pokemon will appear depending on the time of the day and the weather condition. Different species and I of think Pokemon also have different... I'm going to keep pausing this, but um, I think people mentioned this game is going to not operate off of a real-time clock, but it's going to be in-game time like in Breath of the Wild. And I think that's a good way of going with this. I think that if that's, if that's the case, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that could be good. I honestly am fine either way with that. Temperaments. Some may ignore you as you approach, like yep. just the dude. Some species, like Starly, are skittish and will run away if they see you approaching. So that's going to be or interesting to have to like Pokemon that will attack you should they spot you in the wild. Have to figure out what you're going to do in each if an situation. If Pokemon spots you, or if you fail to catch it on your first sneak attempt, the Pokemon will enter an alert state. In this state. All Pokeballs you throw will simply be deflected by the Oh, Pokemon. okay, so then you have to in fight it. In order to catch a Pokemon in this state, you must Interesting. battle. Interesting. 
So you can't just you can chuck balls at it. By throwing a Pokeball containing one of your own partner Pokemon near a wild Pokemon. I think we just saw the camera move a little bit there. Yeah, you can move the camera. And then you can use the Pokeball like normal. You can use items to your advantage when catching wild Pokemon. For example, throwing a berry near a Pokemon will distract it. The Pokemon will then start Okay. While eating, the Pokemon is much less aware of your presence, allowing you to go in for a backstroke. So it'll be cool to see how you can use different methods and maybe when encountering aggressive wild different Pokemon, Pokemon like might have careful. Better These methods, you know. Not think twice about attacking you. If you take too much damage, you will black out and lose some of yeah. the items you were carrying when you fainted. Ooh, so you lose items now. That's cool. That's interesting. All right. I kind of like that. As part of the Survey Corps, <laughs> we're on a mission to catalog and research all the different Pokemon that live in the harsh environments of Hisui. Yes, the Survey Corps. Not only will you need to catch many types of Pokemon on your mission, but you will also need to observe them using certain moves or displaying certain behaviors. That'll you be interesting, in field, potentially. You can visit Professor Laventon to hand in your survey report. This will update your Pokedex, as well as increase your rank in the Survey Corps. You will also receive funds from the professor, which you can use to buy items and materials okay. to help you with your research. So that's how you're going to get money. The vastness of the Hisui region is... But what is going to be, like, the progression, foot. you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I mean, we know that there's going to be the... Adventure, you will encounter a number of special noble Pokemon. Pokemon. That will help you get to where you need to go with grace and speed. Weirdeer helps you navigate on land faster. Hisui and Braviary, on the other hand, allows you to soar through the skies. But I'm wondering how this game is going to end up... Basque Legion ...where it's going to end up. ...traverse the rivers and seas throughout the Hisui region. With these Pokemon by your side, you will be able to... Oh look, we finally get to see those two, like, pincerhorn looking things. Jubilife Village is the center of operations for the Galaxy Expedition Team, a group made up of people who have come from different regions to study and live in the harsh region of Hisui. The Galaxy Team includes various corps, such as the Medical Corps and the Security Corps, as well as the Survey Corps, which carries out research on... I find it how inter interesting... I don't feel like we've seen a lot about the Medical Corps. Like, the other ones we've, we've seen mentioned and we've seen a lot of, but I don't think we've seen much on them. Jubilife Village will serve as the base for your surveying missions. After receiving a mission or a request, and preparing for your next excursion, you'll set out from the village to study one of the various areas of the Hisui region. So it is. It's After very much Monster work, Hunter. You'll return once more to prepare for your next task. Along with the headquarters of the Galaxy Team and your own lodgings, Jubilife Which could Village work. is also home to a variety of different services, such as the Clothier, the Craftworks, and the Trading Post where you can trade Pokemon with other players. You can receive a variety of different missions and requests from the inhabitants of Hisu. Okay, yeah, this requests is going to be, I think, small tasks that you where it's going to... The, gonna, the main progression is going to be right here. Will advance the main story. Yep. Once you okay. receive a mission or request... It will so be it is, it's, it's just like Monster though. Hunter, again. The Arc Phone is a mysterious device that allows you to track your movements, mark locations on the map, and track your current missions and requests. Missions and requests vary in their objectives. Some examples of these objectives include discovering a specific Pokemon, finding a variety of different items, defeating powerful Pokemon in battle, or catching a number of one specific Pokemon for research. Please enjoy this clip of a trainer completing a request. Okay. So we just got to catch a Shinx then... Sh okay, I see.
Definitely gonna be <laughs> having to release a lot of Pokemon in this. I don't usually release uh, Pokemon in Pokemon games, but in this one you're gonna have to. Because you're just gonna have to catch so many. And that's also kind of an interesting thing, because that's gonna be... There's gonna be more of an emphasis on the catching here. Which is something we also saw in Let's Go. I think I do like the way it's executed more here. You can initiate a Pokemon battle by throwing one of your partner's Pokeballs at or near a wild Pokemon. If a wild yeah, we Pokemon know. does not see you approaching, we've already you strike them with seen one that of earlier. Pokeballs. This will catch them unaware and may grant you an extra chance to attack and battle. Oh, okay, so you can get like a preemptive attack. Battles are turn-based, and you can get your Pokemon to attack in two unique styles. I will say, one thing I've heard people say is that Pokemon should move away from turn-based. I completely disagree with that, and I don't think that that would be the right move at all. I think that this is the right... I think that the, uh, changing it like this is a good way to go. I do think that it needs a refresh, but I don't think moving away from turn-based is the thing to do. I don't think that that is necessarily a modernization. If that makes sense. Like the, the idea that a turn-based system doesn't make it modern doesn't really help because we see games like Dragon Quest 11, Persona 5 that are turn-based, but they use that in a much more effective way. Especially Persona 5 feels a lot more modern, you know. So I don't think that it would be fair to just say, oh, make Pokemon an action RPG, because that would be such a core change that I don't think would really fit. Using a move in the Agile style raises the user's action speed, which may make the user's next turn come sooner at the expense of reducing the move. It's like a Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth or the other Digimon games or Final Fantasy X. If an enemy can withstand one of your strong style moves, prepare to be attacked multiple times. It does make me wonder, and I've said, I don't know if I've said this before on camera, but I've said, I wonder how that's going to get balanced. Like how, if speed does play a role, how, how many turns in a row can you end up getting theoretically? You know, is it just going to be two or can you just go crazy with that? And could that get kind of out of hand? Would that give speedy Pokemon a bigger advantage than say you know, slower but sturdier Pokemon? I don't know. And strong style moves in battle causes your Pokemon's attacks to use more... I do, I, I'm curious to see how that gets balanced. Battle. A good strategy is the key to victory. Especially if this While game ends up having battle, you may come across a Pokemon multiplayer, which we don't know if it will or not yet. The species. These are known as Alpha Pokemon. Yep, the Alpha Pokemon. And have glowing red eyes. Be careful when approaching them if you are not prepared. They are very aggressive and will take a powerful team and strategy to take down. Here, the player uses Agile Style Thunder Wave to paralyze their opponent, delaying their turns and making... Okay, and one thing I think people have pointed out is that using the Agile style use 2 PP instead of 1, which I think is interesting. That's going to be... Also, it doesn't look like you can use it with Thunder, so some moves might not be able to use that. So that's part of the balancing, I guess. Alpha Pokemon is a challenge, but if you manage it, they will be a very powerful ally in your adventure. I'll bet they'll have maybe hidden abilities and stuff on these. That seems like something they would do. Customization, we already saw some of this. Let's see if there's anything new. By visiting the clothier, you can customize your character with a variety of different clothing items. As you progress through the game, you will unlock more outfits to purchase. Make sure to pick a style that speaks to you. Here is a quick look at some of the early customization options that trainers can wear. Okay. Oh, we can you change can our... You can also customize yeah. your trainer's hairstyle hair color, and eyebrow color at the hairdresser. Oh, that's the cool. <laughs> be dangerous. That was just straight that up the... Can't look your best. The dawn look.
During your adventure, you will have to face off against special Pokemon called Noble Pokemon. Okay, I've been playing Monster Hunter Rise, and when you catch, you can capture monsters, which gets you more materials than just killing them. As part of the Survey Corps, and the way you do that is kind of similar to this. Because you actually have to throw, like, a tranquilizer at them. Or, like, you throw a tranquilizer near them. ...by throwing bombs made using these noble Pokemon's favorite foods. It can be difficult to hit a rampaging noble with these bombs, as they will relentlessly attack you. The moment you see an opportunity, hit them with as many bombs as you can. Just like throwing a Pokeball, you need to aim carefully. Noble Pokemon will attack the player... A little bit, bit of a, like, a boss much, arena type thing there. Black out need to attempt the battle again. Balance throwing your bombs with dodging attacks to calm the noble Pokemon. It'll be interesting to see how hard At these some are. Point during the fight, the noble Pokemon may let down its guard. This is the time to throw your Pokeball and start a Pokemon battle. These battles are tough, and planning ahead is essential if you wish to calm the noble Pokemon down. So what is the, like a weird aura, like oh, they're just like floating there. You know what I'm saying? Those, like, beams of light? That did a lot of damage. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Countless adventures await you in the Hisui region, and we cannot wait for you to get your hands on the game after it releases on January 28th, exclusively on Nintendo Switch. Yep, two weeks we from today as of recording this. Soon. It'll Bye. probably be a day or two before it goes up. But I'm um, interesting, so yeah, it, it definitely is seeming like it's Monster Hunter, basically. Interesting, I'm curious to see, like I said, I'm curious to see how it ends up progressing as you go, you know? Because, like, a lot of what we've seen has been early game. And I'm curious to see what is it going to be kind of story-wise. I'm guessing because, I mean, like, Monster Hunter Rise has a little bit of, like, a story to it. But it's not a ton. And I know it's probably going to be different. I don't know. We're going to, I mean, at this point, we're just going to have to see, you know. Uh, like I said, though, interesting. Uh, still not 100% sure. But I'm, I'm definitely going to try this game out. I want to play it. This game looks like it has potential. But um, anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know what to do. If you don't, ask somebody who does. <laughs> um, yeah, l l over here on the channel, we do stuff like this, where we react to game trailers. We're also currently playing through Near Replicant and Neo The World Ends With You. We recently started a, a series of Undertale where I'm actually having my mother play through Undertale, and that's going interestingly. Uh, we also stream over on Twitch, very seldom, but I'm going to try to start maybe doing that again soon. Uh, so if any of that interests you, be sure to check us out, and I hope to see you sometime. Bye.